Okay, today I'm going to uh, demonstrate to you how I bend sides. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to bend a cutaway side. A little more complicated. After that, the normal side will be fairly easy to do. So, I'm going to show you the parts. I use the side bender with the heating blanket system that uh, Tom Durr has provided for several of us and we'll be we'll be using that. I'll show you all the parts here next and we can then get into doing it. Okay, we've got the timer. It's a standard just photographic timer. Here's the con the control unit that uh it's you can see the red light is on right now. It's set at the right temperature. We're going to be bending at about 320 degrees. Here's the uh the silicone heating blanket. You can see that. Here's my bending form. I don't do anything real fancy. These are pretty much just just hollow. Um, two sheets of plywood, some spacers on the inside, and uh, and then it's just covered with uh, with actually just galvanized flashing. Now here's my slats. Now I've got a system here. You can see uh, the slats are, are screwed on to a uh, block of wood and there's an aluminum spacer uh, between, between the two slats. And you see this piece of wood with a, with a hole in it and you'll see the hole here and I'll show you how that functions in a minute. Uh, I use two calls. Here's my waste call that will go on like so, and here's my cutaway call. Now, now this is a little bit asymmetrical. It's it's uh, a looser bend at one end and a little bit tighter bend on the other end because I use a compound cutaway that slopes a little bit, so it, it will it will fit in like so. Uh, I use these eye bolts with uh, with the knobs that, that screw right through to hold the calls down and you can see they're going to fit onto screws here for the waste call and screw here for the uh, cutaway call. So let's get on that in a minute. First, I'm going to attach my slats to my form. Now, I attach this at the at the tail end. It's got these little uh, little uh, piece of aluminum rod with handles on them, and that attaches this permanently. So I can put my, my side in between, butt it down up against the aluminum stop, and that will pretty much uh, register. I register on the ends. I cut my sides the, just the, this distance longer on the butt end, and so I know they're always lined up. Okay. Uh, Here's the side I'm going to be bending. It's the cutaway side. You see I've got it marked as a cutaway. And I've also got an arrow 
indicating the top so I'll get it in straight. I've already roughly profiled the side using my, my template, my side template for this particular body size and you can see I left a little extra on that end and there's plenty uh, to do there. First I'm going to <clears throat> lightly uh, mist this with water not too heavily just to get uh, get it damp on the surface and then I'll wipe down the surface a little bit mainly I just want to make sure that it's, it's damp on the surface I don't want to use a lot of water so okay the next thing I do is I wrap the side in a piece of uh, white craft paper and then I wrap the side in aluminum foil And then it'll be ready to go in the slats like so. So I'm going to get this, get this in here and get it ready to go and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, <clears throat> it's been heating oh, for about 3-4 minutes now and it's getting pretty well heated through. So now we're just going to let the lower bout pretty much bend itself. Mainly you just got to kind of catch it as it falls and pretty much it wilts on its own. Take some of these clips out. So the lower bout is, is pretty much bent down and just a matter of keeping it straight now press down. So we'll take these clips out and it's time to let the waste heat just a little bit. It's starting to, it's starting to give. Now when I put these coils on top of this uh, this bending blanket it's a little bit uh, rough on it so I take a short piece of scrap uh, shim stock put on top and that protects protects the call or the I mean the the blanket from the call. So I lay on the lay on the call, take the uh, the eye bolts clip them on Make sure we got everything lined up, snugged up, and then it's just a matter of of cranking down the uh, the knobs, and we'll bring the waist on down to bend. no need to be in a hurry. There's only so fast you can go with this system so you can't really like get too carried away and wreck your sides too easily. And 
just keep, keep it pretty much even. A few turns on on one knob and then a few more on the other and back and forth. Or you can use two hands and do it at the same time. So there we are. The waist is pretty well down tight. Get it way down. Get, get some flex coming around the upper bout here. It's getting close to being ready to do that, but I'm going to let this cutaway section heat just a little bit. Clamp this down a little bit tighter. And we'll let that heat just a little bit, and then we'll come back and bend that. Okay, now we are ready to bend the cutaway. We'll take the uh, Right away fixture call. And we just clip it on. Uh, take these clips off again. The, the uh, extra shim stock will give it a little bit of protection for to the heating blanket. And just like the the waste call. We start uh, gradually tightening it down. You see we've got oh, a couple inches to bring it in. So we're it's coming along pretty good. It's been been heating now about ten or twelve minutes. What we'll do is we'll crank it down and then I'm gonna let it heat probably another another five minutes. Then I will uh let it cool off completely and then we'll give it another short heat cycle about 10 minutes and then when it cools off from that we can take it out of the form and we should have a a bent side that's ready to roll if all goes well. Give this end a little flex, make sure she's going to come in okay. Yep. Well, we're almost there. Less than a half inch to go, and it should be there. This call pretty much adjusts itself by the shape to the to the middle of the bend. It's not not a real big problem to worry about lining it up. It pretty much self aligns. So we get it down tight. So there we are. I'll kick the timer up to about five minutes, and we'll let it let it go, and uh, we'll give it another heating cycle. And when it's all cooled, we'll take it out and see how we come out.
The other thing, having the, the bottom of the form open, it does allow me to use a fan to cool it off a whole lot faster. And I don't have to sit and wait so long before I can uh, take the side out of the out of the form. So now it's just a matter of Removing the holes. Take off the heating blanket, extra shim stock, and hopefully we'll have a have a well bent side. Let's just take a look and see what we got. Take off the paper, that's pretty much throwaway. Well, so there we are. There's a couple little bitty. Uh, facets right on this edge, but that's just going to sand right off. So we pretty much got a got a nicely bent side. Gonna fit the form. Yeah, looks good, so I guess we're ready to go. Uh, that's how I do it. Um, if you got any questions, you can just ask them on the forum, and I'll be more than happy to, uh, to explain anything that, that you might have a question about. Thanks for looking.